Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. Happy Mother's Day. Ooh, happy Pet Mother's Day as well. Um, I have my iPad on and I forgot to turn my, my um, sound off. Anyway, just to make sure our stream is working. And if you are here with me on this Mother's Day, happy Sunday. It is May 9th. Yes, May 9th. Um, if you're here with me, let me know you can hear me. Let me know you can see me by posting in the chat. Today we are going to be talking about flea and tick treatments for your pets and what, in my opinion, are the safest options. This is a big deal, especially this time of year. Of course, if you live in a, uh, if you live on the East Coast, maybe in southern, the southern part of the United States, you've already been, like, you've already been thinking about this. The reason why this came up for me now is because we are going to be moving very shortly. It's getting real and um, into central Texas. So while a long time ago, I lived in Virginia and there was a real like threat of fleas every year. Being in Southern California for many years, we just haven't really had to worry about that much. So. I, you know, I've, I haven't given my pets any sort of oral or topical flea or tick preventatives for, gosh, like eight years now because I haven't seen the need for it. And now that we're moving, it's like, oh my goodness, like fleas are real, guys. I know, <laughs> I know this. And here's the thing, fleas and ticks and mosquitoes and all those other, you know, any, any parasitic animal like they serve a purpose in the ecosystem so it's not like we want to eradicate them we know that's not the right thing to do the ecosystem will will can fail if you remove a species um so that's not what we want but i don't want them in my home and i certainly don't want them infesting my pets like beautiful little kimmy here she's helping me out today. So um, again, thank you guys so much for being here. Let me know you're here. Let me know um, where you're from, what uh, drew you to this topic this morning. Let me know about your pets. Po uh, post in the chat and let me know if you're watching this later on after the live. If you're watching the recording, you can post in the comments and I'll be happy to get back with you as well. So just uh, really quickly for those, I see a bunch of people have just hopped on. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Pet Mom's Day. And we're going to make this short and sweet. I do want to let you know if you are um, on Patreon, if you follow me on Patreon, I posted this morning already. You got everything we're talking about this morning and a whole bunch more. So um, lots and lots and lots going through my head this morning about fleas and ticks. So the very first thing I want to talk to you about is traditional prevention for flea and ticks. So like if you go to a conventional veterinarian today and they're like, oh, you need to get your dog or cat on, you know, uh, flea prevention, they're going to prescribe you something like um, Trifexis or, you know, Simperica, Revolution, Frontline. Um, if you go to a like a Walmart or something, you may be able to get like a Soresto collar or Advantage. So any of that, a uh, Capstar is another one that you might get from your veterinarian. Um, it, and, and that's not an exhaustive list, but those are the type of products we're talking about. These are flea and tick prevention. They can be either applied topically um, between the shoulder blades of your dog or cat or given orally. These are neurotoxins. And so what they are designed to do is attack the nervous system of whatever parasite may be feasting on your pet. <clears throat> Sorry, give me one second guys, I need to take a drink of water. So these neurotoxins, they're designed to attack the nervous system of the, par the flea, the tick, the mosquito, whatever. And what happens is the parasite ingests your pet's blood that has these toxins in it and the idea is that it attacks their nervous system to the point where they can't breathe so they die like that's the goal <laughs> of these um, types of 
medications. The really, really, really scary part is that your pet is not immune to these toxins. So they are, they're affecting your pet as well. So uh, I want to give you a quick rundown of some of the symptoms of neurotoxicity, meaning that um, a toxin that affects the nervous system in the body. It could include paralysis or weakness of the limbs, tingling, numbness, or other sensations of the limbs, headache, vision loss, uh, cognitive dis dysfunction and memory loss, obsessive and or compulsive behavior, sometimes uncontrollable, behavioral problems, depression, poor circulation, imbalance, and other flu-like symptoms. So if you have ever given your pet a whether a topical or an oral flea and tick preventative you, and, and you've seen any of these symptoms in your pet, you may not have made that correlation that it was the medication that you gave because your veterinarian gave it to you and you thought that it would be perfectly safe for them, right? Well, unfortunately, no. And unfortunately, there are a lot of flea and tick prevention uh, medications out there that are causing very serious harm to a lot of it. there are some pets that have even died from it um so that is the short story of why we want why we're questioning conventional flea and tick prevention so um again i want to make today's video short and sweet it's mother's day i want you guys to be able to get back to your pets back to your families so you can um, enjoy the day with them um, so, what are some alternatives to this? Well, like I said earlier, my Patreon post today goes into great detail of all the things I'm planning on doing in our new home, including what I'm going to be doing to the outdoors, because I think that's incredibly important. We want to minimize the exposure that our pets have to these parasites. So, if I can maintain the, out, the, you know, the outdoor space of my home, in a way, in a manner that is going to be um, not hospitable for these parasites to live and thrive, then that is going to de decrease my pet's exposure to them to begin with. So that's very important. That's all in my Patreon post. If you are not following me on Patreon, you can check the link in the description. But specifically when it comes to our dogs and cats, I have a few screens that I want to pull up for you. So let me see if I can do this. Um, uh oh. Let's try that one. Let's see if that pulls up. Okay. So hopefully that pulls up <laughs> appropriately. Um, and I want you guys to see, oh, let's try that again. The Wonderside webpage. And Wonderside is a natural plant-based, um, They you can get uh, a flea and tick spray. So, ooh. All right, let's see. I don't know how well you can see that. Well, so you can see Wonderside. They also have um, sprays for the yard and then um, there's, you know, sprays for you and your family. This is a really nice, um, fairly natural way they do use. Uh, it's all plant-based. It's all designed to kill, repel, and prevent fleas, ticks, mosquitoes, flies, and it says hundreds more pesky bugs, safe for dogs and cats. It's made in the USA and holistic vet approved. So that is one thing that um, is a possibility. The next thing I want to tell you guys about is coconut oil. So I want to make sure this is pulling up on the screen properly. Let me move that down and move this one up. Let's see if that is pulling up on the screen properly. Okay, so I just pulled this up on the Coco Therapy website, and you can see in the URL there, it's, I'm on the Coco Therapy page. I love Coco Therapy. Um, if you haven't heard of them, you can go to cocotherapy.com. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm not a, an affiliate for any of these products. These are just the products that I absolutely love and that I trust that I will and have used. 
So you can actually use coconut oil. You can feed it to your pet, which is great. There is a ton of wonderful nutritional benefits to um, uh, coconut oil, but you can also use it as a pest repellent. And I've kind of highlighted this here. You can take a small amount in your hand, massage it in your hands. Coconut oil um, will melt at, I want to say it's like 78 or 76 degrees. So if you put it in your hands, it will melt fairly quickly. And you can take it, you know, just take it and have it melt a little bit in your hands, rub it around, massage it into your pet's coat. And really, you know, take the time to make sure that you, you're kind of massaging their coat and make sure that it has time to work all the way down to your pet's skin because there is lanic acid in coconut oil that is a natural um, flea repellent and all sorts of other pests. They don't like lanic acid. So that is another really great natural way that you can um, keep fleas and ticks and other pesky critters away from your pets. So that's another really great idea. The final one that I want to talk to you guys about, and let me just switch. Oh, we already have it. Okay, so Animalio. You guys know, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know how much I love Animalio. These are the only veterinary grade essential oils that I know of. So they are the only ones that I ever recommend that I use um, on or around our pets. So this particular blend, it's called Evict. Let me get that up here. It's called Evict. It is primarily cedarwood oil, though there are other um, oils mixed in with it, but it smells very much like cedarwood, which is just a wonderful smell to me. I love it. This is um, an essential oil that is safe for you, safe for your pets, safe for the environment and what you do is actually mix it in a spray bottle with distilled water it's mostly distilled water and then you add in a few drops of the evict and there are um, instructions on the animalio website and you use this as an all natural bug spray so these are my top recommendations for the best most natural flea and tick repellents for our pets. So let me move myself back up here, okay? <laughs> I have not done this before on a live video where I shared screens, so that went surprisingly well. Thank you for um, sticking with me through that. So those are my safest, my top options. Actually, there's one more that I forgot to pull up. This one, um, let me do, 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 do. Flea X. Let me pull it up really quick, guys. Okay, this one specifically says for cats. However, um, I can't imagine that it, it wouldn't be okay for dogs too. This is from the Flea Line Essentials line. Uh, flea line. Flea, flea Line Essentials line. It is called Flea X. It's an all natural flea and tick spray for cats and kittens. And it is brought to us by the two crazy cat ladies, which is why they say it is for cats. Everything on their site says for cats, but there's nothing in any of their products that would be harmful to your dogs. Um, so this is also something that you would spray onto your pet. You can also use it on furniture and outdoor areas. It is 100% non-toxic, non-corrosive, human plant and animal friendly. So it's perfect for, for a flea treatment, flea prevention, ticks, and a mosquito repellent. I would say guys, sometimes, sometimes our pets may not like having things sprayed on them. And in that uh, event, I would take the spray and spray it into your hand and then massage it into your pet's coat. That would be my recommendation. But these are 
for me, my top picks for the safest flea and tick treatments prevention preventative. So keeping fleas and ticks and mosquitoes and other pesky critters away from your pets. Like I said, in my Patreon post today, I went into a lot more detail um, about what I'm doing in the yard, about, there, there's actually quite a few more tips and tricks in the Patreon post. So I definitely hope you check me out over on Patreon because I am at least twice a week. Actually, this week it was three times. Um, I'm, and, and I'm continuing to add more. Every single week, I'm put it, putting up exclusive pet parent content that I know you will love. And there are four different tiers to choose from. Choose the one that's best for you. The um, very first tier is, I mean, insanely, like it is, it's, it's only a dollar. Patreon will not let me charge zero dollars. One dollar is the absolute minimum that Patreon will let me put up. So that's what I did because I want this information accessible to everyone who wants it. Um, thank you guys so much for being here with me again today. I do want to, again, say thank you and happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, to all the pet moms out there. Uh, I did want to make today's video short and sweet because it is a holiday. I want you guys to get um, as much time in with your families as you can while taking a few minutes for yourself to uh, educate, right? Because we all should be learning something every day. I think that's the best, best plan of attack for every day is to make sure you always learn something new. So thank you so much for being here with me today. If you have any comments or questions or... If you have some flea, natural flea and tick prevention that you think works really well, make sure to comment down below and let me know about it. I would love to look into it and maybe include it in my next post. So thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I appreciate each and every one of you. I do want to remind you, please give this video a thumbs up. And my goal for 2021 is to get this channel to 25,000 subscribers and I cannot do it without you. So if you are not subscribed, if you look down there at that subscribe button and it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. And I hope you share this with everyone else in, in your life that has a pet because I know there's tons of information on this channel that can help every pet parent out there. And that's the goal, right? Is to help as many pets and their owners as possible. So thank you so much again for being here with me today. I do hope to see you over on Patreon. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.